What's going on and welcome back to another gear review and in this video we're going to be going over the Black Trident Trauma Burrito Med Kit System. Now for those of you that don't know, Black Trident is a tactical company out of Europe. They are from Austria and they're primarily composed of active duty and former European soft guys as well as a handful of American soft guys. And collectively, they've come together, taken all of their experience, both past and present, and design and develop equipment based off of the needs of what guys have when it comes to those tactical applications in law enforcement and military. So with that, one of my mentors is actually one of the guys that helps develop this equipment. So he sends me equipment that he helps design and develop. I test and evaluate it, provide feedback, and then they take that feedback and try and refine and perfect their product line so that way they're bringing the most adaptable and multifunctional pieces of equipment to the market uh, when it comes down to it. So I'm not getting paid. I'm simply just helping out my friends within that company. So with that, primary focus of this video is going to be the medical aspect of all of it. We'll go through all of the individual pieces, and then at the end, we'll talk about some of the adapting or adaptive things and multifunctional things that you can do with this system and go beyond just that medical use. So with that, diving right into it, when it comes to materials and colors and camo patterns, this things or this guy, as well as all of the components are made out of kind of a PVC nylon denier cordura. So it is super robust, very abrasive resistant and does a really good job within that tactical environment of staying together and not falling apart on you. From there, uh, most of the product is made out of, or layered with Velcro, and then you also have your plastic clips, and this guy specifically has your Molly capability with it as well. So you do have a couple of different options when it comes to setups and configurations. Colors and camo patterns, you're gonna have a couple of multi-cam patterns, as well as your standard black, OD green, and coyote brown. So you do have a lot of options to be able to set this up specific to your uh, mission, operational environment, and duty position. Now with that, the primary component is gonna be the burrito IFAC, which is this centerpiece right here. This guy is gonna cost you about 80 US bucks or US dollars. And then each of these additional accessories or components is gonna cost you about $40 a piece. So we've got the kangaroo or the dangler, We've got the belt mounted pouch, we have the molly mounted pouch, and then we also have the fanny pack pouch. So you do have some options as far as different ways to set up and configure this on your kit. In total, this whole thing is gonna cost you about 250 bucks if you decide to purchase every single component. Now I would recommend it just for the simple fact that it is going to open up how far kind of the left and right limits you have as far as setting up kit goes. So you can set up stuff on recce kits or low vis kits or flicks and chest rigs without any plate carrier. You can add a plate carrier and incorporate uh, this med kit into that plate carrier and then you can even run things on your belt or below the belt. So it really opens up that left and right limit and allows you to custom tailor this to your individual needs. Uh, just from the medical aspect, not even including what you can do if you start bridging into a couple of other capabilities when it comes to leadership, demo, explosives, or breaching, and even comes kind of some of the individual MOSs or job positions that are out there. So with that, taking a look specifically at the burrito IFAC itself, it just opens up into a tri-fold burrito configuration. You do have this elastic tweeve that is on the interior of the burrito. And then on the interior of the burrito, you have couple of or a handful of laser cut holes into the whole entire system to where you can incorporate this shock cord system and 550 cord to be able to help retain everything inside of this actual IFAC itself and then each one of these sections will actually lift up so you can actually use them as pockets or ways to help retain additional equipment and then up here at the top you also have a pocket for casualty care cards and other equipment that you may need to carry with this whole system. Now, one cool thing about this guy specifically, you can have this custom set up to the American March configuration. So up here at the top, you'll have your massive bleeding or massive hemorrhage, your airway, respiration, circulation, and then hypothermia, head and handling uh, markers. And then you can also get the European version, which is CAB CD, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, 
which is going to consist of critical bleeding, airway, breathing, circulation, disability, and then the environment. So there are a couple of ways you can set that up here at the top. And there's actually a couple of other things that we've talked or I've talked about with them as far as going beyond that, which we'll get to at the end. But that primarily is, or that pretty much consists and breaks down the entire burrito itself. So that's what that's gonna look like when you get it. I'll also be doing a actual setup video for this so that way you guys can see how I would set this up. So that way you guys can kind of copy that and or use it as needed when it comes to setting this up if you decide to purchase this system. Now in addition to that, we kind of talked about earlier some of the additional components. So going through each one of these, you have the kangaroo or the dangler up front. Same material uh, construction, stitching and all this stuff is really good. I did miss that piece. But cool thing with all of these individual pieces is at the top here, you do have the cutouts to be able to carry a tourniquet on top of your med kit. So that way it's always centrally located or co-located with your med kit when you need to apply that tourniquet to any type of extremity wound. So anyways, with that, with the kangaroo or the dangler, you have your Velcro up top here. You've got your loop on the exterior, your hook on the interior. And then in the main body portion, you have your loop, which will tie into the Velcro or the hook Velcro on the back of the IFAC. So you'll just lay that on, close this up, buckle it in place, make any adjustments that you need to with the strap here at the bottom. And that is what it will look like when it's all put together. And then this would be something that you could attach to the bottom of a plate carrier or to the bottom of a chest rig or recce rig. So you do have some options when it comes to all of that. So closing that guy up, we also have the belt setup, which is almost the identical setup as the dangler. The only difference is on the back side here, you do have your belt loops. The cool thing with this is on the interior of those loops, there is that hook Velcro. So this will Velcro to your belt system. And then it will also replace the Velcro that you're covering up with these loops. So that way you have good contact or positive contact with your belt systems. And this isn't gonna shift around and move on you at all. Top is the same for the tourniquet setup. And then the same thing here, you just drop that tourniquet on, close it up, and then this will just mount to your belt system. It can be a little challenging, I guess you could say, to try and get this out or off of your belt because you're going to have to reach around your entire body if this is on the back side of your belt. Unbuckle this and then pull this off. Not as smooth as some of the pullout systems like the uh, Roll One or the AWS that I've reviewed in the past, but it is still pretty simple and straightforward as far as employment goes. It just takes a little bit of getting used to and a little bit of repetition to employ this quickly compared to those other systems. Now with that, we also have the Molly system here. Now this guy is really interesting compared to a lot of the other Molly products that I have, uh, which we'll get into here in a sec. But initially, same top flap configuration to where you can mount your tourniquet with that shock cord. Open this up. Your, tourniquet, or your whole med kit is going to drop in place like so, and then you close this up just like the other ones and then tighten it down as needed. Now, the setup of this guy is what is really interesting. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna send you a couple of malice clips and then some Chicago bolts and screws. So I'll kind of show you real quick how this goes together. So you're gonna get your female Chicago screw, a rubber spacer, and then your male screw right there. So the way that this works is you'll take your female portion and then on the back side you have all of these little cutouts. So those are gonna line up to where you can take either the short or the long malice clips and you can set this up horizontally to where the tourniquet will sit like this on your kit or you can set it up to where it will sit vertically like this. So it is gonna take a little bit of configuration. Make sure that when you set this up on your kit, set it up to where it's easy to access the buckle and then be able to pull that med kit out. What I've noticed is when you're putting it on your kit, say like this is on my cummerbund right now, if I was to set this up on the kit in that ver vertical configuration, if I hit this buckle, this part swinging away from my body or towards my back in this portion 
swinging towards the front of my body or the center of my body. And the front is the easiest way to set it up to where this doesn't kind of like do some weird stuff on you and kind of get in the way of or interfere of pulling the med kit out. So just keep that in mind. But with that, you can set up the molly straps vertically or horizontally. Uh, but with that configuration to actually get those malice clips on here, you're going to take your female Chicago bolt. And you're just going to push it through that hole like so. Very simple, very straightforward. It doesn't take much. And then from there, you're going to take your rubber washer to secure that in place. And then you'll take your malice clip, line it up the way that you want. And this is going to take some pre-fitting on your plate carrier. So you're going to have to adjust this up and down or left and right or whatever uh, when you set this up to get it in the exact position you want. But then once you have that set up, you're just going to simply take that male portion, tighten that up, and then you're good to go. And this will molly straight into your kit. One recommendation, use at least blue Loctite on this. So that way these screws don't come undone and your kit and your whole med kit falls off of your kit if you do use this. So just a pro tip when it comes to that. So that's what that looks like when it's all set up. I'll leave that female portion in there for now, but that is your Molly pouch that you can also purchase for that. Now, last but not least, we also have the fanny pack configuration. So same as all the other ones, the only difference with this guy is you have your fanny pack strap on the left-hand side or the right-hand side when you're actually wearing it. You have your buckle and your adjustment so that way you can adjust this to your actual hip size and this will fit small waists big waists doesn't really matter um, there's plenty of space with all this extra extra material to wrap around your body so you shouldn't have any issues when it comes to setting this up top flap like the others has your two cutouts on either side for that tourniquet placement with shock cord and then when you open this up velcro on velcro this closes up and then you make your adjustments as needed to help retain this and then this will just hang off the front of your body underneath your plate carrier and underneath your belt so really good system when it comes down to it that kind of sums up all the medical stuff when it comes to how you can configure this on your kit so the other thing that i want to talk about is some of the adaptability piece of this whole system and what they're thinking of potentially doing in the future so when it comes to this guy you can do more than just run medical supplies and one thing that i've talked about with them is opening this up to where you have administrative or leadership markers up here at the top and or demo stuff for explosive breaching and or mechanical breaching or some of the other stuff that's out there when it comes to the whole breaching world to include ballistics for like shotgun rounds and all that so there is potentially you know things in the future to where you'll see these guys or these center sections of the whole entire burrito open up to carrying shotgun rounds or setting up initiating systems for demo or setting up different types of equipment that you may need for your specific mission, operational environment, and duty position. So uh, one thing that they have talked about is actually setting this whole thing up to where it's completely customizable to where you can either run the medical stuff and or a specific outline that you want on this whole thing so that will really open it up to a lot of additional multi role or adaptable capabilities uh, when it comes to this product line um, in addition to that um, I, if I can't remember what it was exactly but we did talk about an additional method of setting this up on your kit so there could be a fifth means of mounting this to your individual kit and one of the other ones was potentially setting this up to where it actually becomes a headrest med kit so where you can set this up on a uh, vehicle it'll look similar to this guy but instead of wrapping around horizontally it'll wrap around vertically so that way on the headrest uh, this just hangs and then you dump that med kit right in there and then that way if you ever need to employ a med kit from a vehicle you have those centrally located on those headrests for everybody to be able to access so that is an additional way or product that you may see in the future for this guy just to expand the capabilities and adaptability of the whole system so with that that pretty much sums up everything that you see here what's going on with this in a medical capacity as well as some future potential capacity or capabilities 
So with that, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. We will help you out in any way that we can. I do know that Black Trident guys are monitoring all of the videos. So there is a good chance that they will be the ones that will respond to your comments as well. So with that, in closing, if you have any questions, please feel free and ask. And with that, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.